<laughs> oh, <laughs> clock is ticking. Okay. Anyway, happy Easter. Just making a quick video about mm, the resurrection of Jesus. And do you believe he rose from the dead for your salvation? For your sins? Is that what? No, he died for your sins. And he rose from the dead. I used to believe that. I really did. And I guess if Jesus had came on back <laughs> when they said he was going to come, I, I, I would have went to heaven. But anyway, it, it didn't happen like that. And um, I was thinking, you know, some people be on uh, this thing about uh, Jesus and I hear Jesus and Jesus, he did this. And this one girl, she's real religious. She says that she's seen Jesus and Jesus talks to her. And a lot of people say Jesus talked to them. And, and I used to think that when I was young, because I, I would get these, I would hear a voice and I just knew it was God, the voice from God. But as I, I grew older, and I would hear this voice, and I finally figured it out. It is not Jesus. It's not a man's voice. It's not a white man's voice. It's not a Jewish. It's me. It's my voice that I hear. So all the time, I was thinking that it's God or Jesus. It's been me all the time. Kind of like... Uh, the Wizard of Oz, you know, that's that you know what they ought to make the Wizard of Oz out of the Bible because uh, ain't no God behind that curtain, it's us, it the whole thing is us, just like Dorothy, she had the power to go home anytime she wanted to. So, the whole time I'm searching for God and listening and saying that this was God and the voice of God. It's been my voice. It's been me. So, and, and, and even this voice that I've heard has always, you know, saved me from dangerous situations and, and stuff like that. All I have to do is listen and obey. So, if this voice, which is my voice, if this voice comes to save me, then that voice is God which is me, because if it, it was Jesus, why wouldn't it sound like Jesus, or uh, a man of his God? Is God a man? I, don't, I, I, I ain't never heard a man's voice, and ooh, if I did hear a man's voice. Now, one time, I take that back, one time, I was asleep, and I heard, my father had been dead a long, long time, and I heard his voice saying, Mary, Mary. And I knew it was his voice. And I woke up. But in my, I thought I was dreaming. And in the dream, I was getting up. And when I got ready to get up, I said, oh, man, this is, I heard it in my sleep. So, but that's, that's a different kind of situation. But I do not hear Japanese people. I don't hear children talking. I hear my voice all day long. Or, uh, yeah, because I it, it, something will tell me the phone is getting ready to ring. And that something is me. And, and sure enough, the phone will ring. And something will say, you know you forgot to pay that bill. Oh, I sure did. So I'll go ahead and pay that bill. Uh, you know you're supposed to do this I call the doctor and so I wonder how many people hear these type this type of a language or voice in their head yeah we all do it because people will say something told me so that something is the I am that I am and that something is you you are God so if Jesus rose from the dead 
maybe he did, maybe he didn't, but he we still have to pay our bills today. We still have to the world keeps on turning. That's what I'm trying to say. So you know, people are bombing and blowing up churches and all of this in the name of or for the cause of their God. And I don't know. I, I just feel confident in my life and the memory that I have of my life, the of me. And it's enough. I don't have to read the Bible to know God because I know myself. I remember one time, my sister-in-law, she was the sweetest thing. She passed in 2003, I believe. But I, I known her for, oh, a long time. But she had left the church for some of the same reasons that I did. But when she found out that she was dying of terminal cancer, she was afraid. She was really afraid. And we talked one night till two o'clock in the morning about things she were afraid or was afraid of and just things she wanted to get off her chest. She wanted to know how did I get to where I am where I'm not afraid of death. And I told her it was a process. I say, but you don't have enough time for me to explain it to you and my story cannot be your story. Only thing you could do is re re reflect on your own life and go with what you believe is right for you. She said, well, should I go back to the church and ask them to forgive me? I said, you need to forgive yourself for whatever you've done wrong. If you forgive yourself, because you haven't done anything wrong to the church. But I said, no, I'm not going to even give you any advice except to do what you feel is necessary so you could die in peace. And, you know, she told me a lot of things that happened. And I told her, I really didn't want to hear that. You know, let's talk about something else and your health and, and not being in pain. That's what I don't want you to be in pain. So we didn't talk about the church anymore, but she, she did ask the church. She went back to the church and asked them to forgive her and, and she, the last, I think the last week of her life, no, two weeks before she died, she went with the church to a convention and she was not able to do this, but she went just out of the, the I don't know, want to be and, and to be counted and to be seen and to be prayed for. My mother did the very same thing. She was ill, just skin and bones, but she had to press her way to get these prayers. So, you know, and they they still died. I don't I don't I don't maybe they was looking for a miracle, I don't know, but I've seen miracles happen. My my baby sister, she's a miracle. She was supposed to die when she was what, four months old and she lived to be forty seven. So, you won't die until it's time for you to die, but if you're not afraid of death, you should be able to die pretty easy. But if you're afraid and have to have these people that you think are holy praying for you to go to heaven, then that's what you do. But I'm not trying to condemn people who believe in the resurrection and Jesus died for their sins and, and then he died for your sins but you still according to the Bible if you if you believe everything the Bible said you're still living in sin so uh, when do you get the victory over sin how does that happen no hey, that just seem like it's just kind of backwards, uh, contradictory. You know, Jesus died for my sins and he's, I'm going to heaven, but you're still living in sin. So, I don't know. That's that's the, the good book, huh? But anyway, y'all have a happy, happy Easter <laughs> and uh, just go in peace. That's all you can do and treat your, your neighbor right and
don't lie. You know, I tell you, I hate a liar. I hate that. Ugh. But if you could, if you could overcome anything, and I'm, and I'm not saying lying is a sin. It's just, I just don't like a liar. So, ask me no questions. I tell you no lies. And and if you know a person is a liar, don't ask them nothing to keep them from lying. But some people just lie anyway. I didn't even tell them to talk about lying. But anyway. Happy Easter. <laughs> Bye.